Welcome into the channel guys. We are back today putting together another recipe. What's special about this recipe is that I normally will let my roast marinate overnight, but this one does not take a lot of time to marinate at all and is simply because of the ingredients that I'm using. This roast turned out to be exceptionally moist and tender and delicious. So I'm going to show you the ingredients that I'm using to put this together and let me know if you try the recipe and how it turns out for you. Let's go ahead and get into it. So what I've done with my roast is I've taken slivers of garlic and placed it inside my roast all over. I'm coating it with a little bit of olive oil so that my seasonings can adhere to it pretty well. And a blend of seasonings that I'm using, I'll list in the description box for you, but these seasonings really, really um, came together well to flavor this roast. Also, for my marinating liquid, I'm using a mixture of garlic wine vinegar, soy sauce, and Worcestershire sauce. And again, everything is going to be listed in the description box for you. Now, if you've never used the garlic wine vinegar before, it is really, really a good marinade for meats such as a roast or steak. And it only takes a tiny bit, so be careful to not overdo it. I'm only using two teaspoons here and only pouring it over the top. I didn't add it to the mixture of the Worcestershire and soy sauce. Flouring my roast because I'm going to sear it on both sides, forming a crust to lock in the juices while it cooks. And I'm using a Dutch oven that is going to also help with tenderizing this roast. to mix up about two cups of gravy and in my skillet here you see I have some cooking oil I'm using canola oil and about two tablespoons of butter I'm also going to add in about one quarter cup of all-purpose flour and I'm going to whisk it all together and let it cook down to cook out the rawness of the flour Adding some beef broth. Using the same seasonings that I used to season my roast. And because I'm a southern girl, I'm going to add in a touch of kitchen bouquet for my gravy. If you are from the south, you know what I am talking about. All right, so now we've come to the part where we're adding our gravy and our veggies to the pot. And we're going to go ahead and cover and return to the oven until tender. So this is the end result. This is how our beef chuck roast came out. This roast is so tender that I was able to cut it with a spoon. Look at that. Do yourself a favor and grab you some of that garlic wine vinegar. Alrighty guys, if you decide to try this recipe, jump down in the comment section and let me know how it turns out for you. And until next time, y'all willing, I will see you guys on the next one. Shalom.